Hey everybody, welcome to my video of my entire luxury bag collection. I've got B behind me, helping. My first bag that I ever purchased was a Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 without the bandolier that wasn't, it didn't exist at the time. I actually have sold that. I really regret selling that bag. I just didn't use the bag because of the, just the handles. And if it's really full, it gets heavy and I just wanted one with a strap. Start with this one. I've actually done a review on this bag. So the link to that is here. And this is my Saint Laurent Lulu in the large size. If you want to know anything about this bag, please click on that link. It's actually full. It's got all my work stuff in it right now. Maybe I'll do a what's in my bag video with this one. It is a workhorse. I love her. She's fantastic. She gets lots of compliments and I use her a couple of times a week, if not every day. And I've traveled with her. She's been a great plain bag because of the, what you can fit in this. So check that video out if you want to know anything in depth about this bag. I'm including this because I guess it is a luxury bag. <laughs> this is my Keepol, Louis Vuitton Keepol 50 with the bandolier. This is quite old. It's nearly 13, I think. And she's beautifully patinaed. Look at that color. I also have just done a wear and tear video for this one so I kind of review this in that video so check that one out up here this is an in-depth video about the quality and the state of this bag it's a bit too big to be a gym bag I think the 45 would be perfect for a gym bag but this is fantastic for a weekend away or a carry-on plane bag it does fit a lot if it's full it's very heavy but i love it and obviously it's been well loved and well used so yes that is my key ball actually yes one more thing i would get another one of these in the 45 but i think maybe next time i'll either get the full leather in black with a big monogram or the same as this canvas but with the brown dark brown black leather and the silver hardware just because it doesn't have the same delicacy that comes with this type of calfskin leather just because like the stain on the back you can see these that wouldn't happen if you had the different leather basically that's all I, that's all i mean so i think this is my second oldest no, this might be now my oldest. So aside from my Speedy that I sold, this is my oldest Louis Vuitton bag, and you can tell. If you please, check out the leather. It's very brown. This is the, gosh, I don't even know what this bag is. I'll put it up on the screen if I can remember what this is called. Can't buy it anymore, pretty sure. You can get it pre-loved, of course. I actually saw one the other day using one of these but it was in a lot better condition than this one. So I used this bag as my everyday bag for around six years. Look at the quality of the, whatever you call this, the zipper pull is not, it's like still quite good in terms of like tarnishness. And so it opens out to be, it's got the dust bag inside. Like it, you, what I loved about this bag is the length of the straps that are adjustable because you could fit a lot in this bag and you could also like, it was just so easy to put on because it wasn't like really tight over the shoulders and you can fit a lot in this bag. So that's kind of how it looks fully zipped and like squished sideways but like it opens out to be like a circle and it's got interior pockets it's got the canvas lining which is filthy but yes you can tell that i use this bag a lot i did restore this bag once like as in treat it and polish and try and sort of get this back to being less brown so this these were browner these were darker than they are now and this is I guess from oil from your hands and just age to compare the color of the patina this one less used but heavily used 
heavily used so I don't she's been retired for quite a few years now I don't use her but she just sits in my dressing room it's actually so well used that the canvas is, is actually split on the ends like it's got feet this is all really well intact nothing wrong with it Louis Vuitton stamp all this is well like look at all that it's worn but yeah I actually used to hang this scarf I used to put her put that scarf here so I had a scarf on her too I'm actually gonna film a review for this bag so this is the all-in in the MM size from Louis Vuitton it's not in their handbag line it's in their luggage line and I'll show you why in a second this is me not wanting to get a Neverfull because everyone has a Neverfull and I wanted a zip and this bag has a zip because it's luggage so it's got very long beautiful handles same as the other bag I just showed you because look like and they're not thin it's like normal luggage strap size it doesn't hurt if it's full like this I love this bag I actually used to use this for the gym and I've also used, used this as a work bag if I've got more to put in my bag and in a travel bag obviously so I use this like on the plane the only annoying part about this bag is that if it's going underneath the seat in front of you it sort of it, you have to push it down like this so it has to go in the overhead compartment but you know for what you can fit in this thing it's fantastic so it's got a beautiful zip it's got like an in interior zipped pocket I'm not going to go into too much detail but the video will be in the reviews uh, playlist up here so I will show you one good thing about her aside from the obvious I just pad this out so it's, it doesn't fall in on itself and you'll see why I do that right now the reason it's luggage is because She goes flat. Oh, she goes flat. It goes, it folds in two and it folds even more. So this is, this is the initial fold, right? So this is the middle size. You can get a smaller one and even, I think you can go even bigger than this, but I think that would be way too big. Then, when it's flat, so I can just put that in my suitcase on the top, but you can also fold it again. So this is what they're designed to do fold up like this obviously you tuck in everything I'm not doing it properly and you wouldn't have that on there but like oh my god and this bag yes it wasn't cheap but like I take this traveling with me as another option at the other end but like it's life's feather so if you ask me this like it's all over the never fall uh, it also comes with the luggage tag because it's luggage so you don't have to pay for this it comes with it Not enough people talk about this bag and I love that because I don't like getting the same thing that everyone else has this is an awesome bag and I'm gonna do a review on it so I'm gonna do a bit more what fits in it and that sort of thing so please keep an eye out for that video love you how much it fits it fits a 16 inch laptop like what next we'll just continue on the monogram thing this is the Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse isn't she beautiful fun little fact about this bag I wanted it for so long a couple of years and every time I went into Louis Vuitton and asked if they had any in stock they would always come back and say no we don't have any sorry we've got plenty of the leather blah 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 anyway I went in one day and it happened to be my birthday. I said, I don't suppose you've got any Pochette Matisse in monogram hiding away out the back. And she came back out with a bag, like in a dust bag. And she said, you're never going to guess what. And I said, are you joking? You're joking. She said, yes, we have one here. And I went, oh my God, it's a sign. It's my birthday today. And I always ask when I'm in Louis Vuitton, which is not the time, by the way. And I was like, well, I can't not buy this. It has to be mine because it's a sign. It's, it's happening. So I was able to buy it and 
she's beautiful. The only annoying part about this bag is you can't fit a bowl of water in this. Only the little ones that you get on the plane. You know, the little little tiny ones that are like six cups of water. That's all you can fit in here. Unless you have not much else in the bag, then yes, you can fit a smaller drink bottle. She isn't going to fit in here. It doesn't fit. She's in pretty good nick. The patina is lovely. It's aging well. It's pretty good inside. Like I've got stuff in here from, like I've got a whole, a lot of stuff in the back flap pocket. If you want me to do a review on this one, let me know. There are a hundred thousand reviews of this bag on YouTube already. So, you know, check them out. <laughs> the only thing I will say about this bag that's annoying, aside from the water, is the strap. So this strap, yes, it's adjustable, but it doesn't soften up. It's like this, like, it's like a whip. <laughs> so if you have your bag and you put it down anywhere, unless there's room for it to, unless you have room for this bag to like have this flapping about somewhere, you just pretend it's on a table like this. Like, it takes up a lot of space. So I have to twist it and then fold it over while it's like sitting down. If I'm sitting this down or on a table or on my lap because otherwise this strap like nearly trip over it. It's very un unforgiving. So that is why if I ever get another one of these, it'll be leather because the strap will soften up and it won't be so effing annoying <laughs> i think i got this in 2021 Ooh, don't know anyway love her i've actually done a review on this bag this is the eva clutch it has another strap that goes it's quite long it's actually inside i'll show you i did an slg video which is up here and i reviewed of sorts review this bag in a bit more detail in that because I included it in the SLG category even though it's not leather I know so that's the strap and actually gets used for other things occasionally like a water bottle for example so anyway I will keep her she isn't going anywhere. My last Louis Vuitton bag oh no don't ah, no no Fluffy had her claws stuck into that. I'm just gonna put this back. That's a no from me. This is my Speedy, Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 in the, oh my God, what's this stuff called? This is leather I know, but what's it called? Empreinte. In the Empreinte leather, I've forgotten the name of the red. I think it's a 2017 collection which means that it's not, like it's just the red that they had that year. It might be cherry, I can't remember, but I use this quite a lot. So in comparison to the Pochette Matisse, similar size, so like front and uh, sideways, like very similar sizing, but not side on. You can get so much more in the Speedy 25, it's not funny and that is why i had to get i had this for one i think i had this one year or two years and then i got this one this was a gift to myself after i had major surgery for my pao, PAO hip dysplasia so i had got this and it was like a you know a good excuse to buy myself a new bag basically and i've been wanting one that was a speedy replacement because i do love the style of the speedies but I wanted leather, I wanted a red bag, and I wanted one with a strap, and I wanted a smaller bag that I could fit a water bottle in. So Q Speedy 25. I really liked this this style of Speedy, aside like as opposed to the canvas Speedies. The leather one has different hardware. So the hardware all over this bag is the same as the lock, and it's very shiny gold brass situation that is better than when you buy the keep all or the speedy the strap and 
the bag hardware is slightly different. This, look at the difference. I know this has aged quite a lot, but this is the lock that comes with all the leather speedy bags. It's very shiny. This is the age of the speedy lock. Sorry, that this is what you get if you got a speedy, and this is also the same. So the hardware matches, but not on one gram bags. It's just a better quality finish, I suppose. A couple of great things about this bag, it comes with the, this as well, with the key inside. It's got a front pocket that's like my phone, and this is the best part. The zip comes down to here, as opposed to speedies. The zip stops here for monogram speedies. So when you unzip a 25, you only get this much. <laughs> you only get this much space to look inside. What have I got in here? Oh yes, I should mention, I got this bag from Fashion File. Maybe I should do a review on this bag and the experience I had with Fashion File. So this is, this was pre-loved. It came with the dust bag, it didn't come with a box. But it's in amazing condition. Like I don't think the person that bought this bag ever used it. Because it barely had any signs of wear and tear whatsoever. It's not horrible, but it is kind of annoying. Right? As opposed to... A little bit more space so you can really get in there if you need to just because it comes down here so you've got a bit more space to get inside right so I have to finish this darn video off using my iPhone because I've spent my battery power on my Canon I feel like this is a running theme and I do really need to buy more batteries, I know. Luckily, the, the quality on my iPhone is pretty good. The inside of this is a beautiful matching red. It's got a zip here and two like internal pockets here. And I can fit a lot in here, quite a lot. And it comes with the matching strap, I will say. And like, this is nice and, you know, loosened this is annoying it doesn't know it's kind of like the, the key pole bandolier it doesn't this doesn't stay in place so I have to secure it with like a, a, a see-through like hair elastic which is a bit of a pain the other thing is this is on the shortest setting and when it's over your shoulder it's quite long I am 510 right so on my shoulder this is where it goes it's fine that's the top of my bottom area here my hips are here so it's quite low and it's crossbody it's quite a good size and drop it's but I'm tall so it's quite it's quite a long bag with the strap and this is the shortest strap hole so if you're short this would be very long on you it's the only issue with this bag and so why it's also annoying with the strap is if you're just carrying it and you like having the strap the strap is very long so it's like it's kind of not proportionate to the bag if that makes sense so if you have it like off your hip under on the crook of your arm this goes all the way down like it's just it's a lot of strap and sometimes I'll just, if I'm on the go and this strap's annoying me, I just tuck it in, in, in the top of my bag, which can actually get a little bit annoying when you're trying to find other things in the bag. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't have feet, this one. I think the earlier version of these bags in the leather has brass feet from memory. Little divots and then blue baton and as opposed to the speedies or the key poles that have one piece of canvas that wraps around which means that on the back the monogram is upside down which is like on purpose this happens with the speedies they've consciously made the leather monogram be the same way up Pretty sure it's a 2017 model. <laughs> I'll find out. I'll find the tag. The stamp. 
lovely. Like my Eva Clutch, the Disco and this Prada, whatever this is, I have included these in my SLG collection because these are leather and they're small. <laughs> so it's linked up here. I think they were phasing this bag out. So I don't know if you can buy this anymore from Gucci and it's got a strap inside. And this is just my cute little broken Prada clutch that I got in Rome in 2010. So check out that other video if you want a bit more information on these, but I thought I'd include them in this video because they are technically bags, so can't leave them out. Last but not least, this is my Queen Margaret, Gucci Queen Margaret backpack from Fashion File. I've got this off Fashion File. Now, I am not a backpack gal. The reason I got this bag is because when I had my hip surgery, I had hip PAO for hip dysplasia. What? Making noises? God, she's noisy. Uh, yeah, so PAO stands for periacetabular osteotomy. Look it up. Uh, major surgery. Basically, I had my hip broken and I had to. I was in hospital for five days, crutches for three months. Oh, was it three and a bit? This was in 2021 and I had this surgery and I knew that I was going to have to wear crutches for three or more months, like one crutch for another month, so like quite a while. So I love bees, in case you didn't notice with my other bag, I had the little bee charm key ring. So I love bees and I actually named one of my cats after bees. Bee. She's, she does know her name. So that's why I bought this bag basically. And I used her when I went back to work on crutches. So I used this bag. It's quite heavy. Like that's heavy. <laughs> so and both dust bags. Oh, and some socks, some Pilates socks. I used to walk to Pilates on a weekend and I use this bag. She does get used still. She isn't retired. You actually can fit quite a lot in here. I can fit this one litre giant drink bottle. <laughs> I can fit this in here. And she's in. So I can go to the gym with my drink bottle. Like it's got a lot of space. So, and I'm just gonna stand up so it doesn't focus on my face. So it's got two pockets here and then an entire zipped pocket that's the whole, the detail is beautiful. Like bamboo handle, lots of space. This is, these are adjustable, I'll show you. Yeah. If you have it over one shoulder, it does get a bit heavy. It doesn't really stay. I can just carry it like this or like this and the straps just kind of hang at the back so there she is that is my luxury bag collection for 2023 or up to 2023 thanks for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos like this anyway thanks so much for joining me let me know what your favorite bag was in my collection and I will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah!